Hi, have you ever needed to pick up something heavy around the homestead and uh, it didn't fit in the tractor bucket? Well, today I'm going to show you how to install some bolt-on hooks to help you out um, to strap things with chains and pick up and move some larger objects. Hi, welcome back to the Whiskey Tango Farms YouTube channel. Today we're going to um, put some bolt-on hooks on the tractor to lift some uh, stuff around the homestead that I can't lift and we can't fit it in the bucket securely enough to move it. So I'm going to show you how to install some bolt-on hooks and we'll get into it. So some of you might know uh, we got rid of our 1025R uh, tractor, John Deere 1025R. Uh, we got this bigger tractor, it's a 3033R and we had bolt, these bolt-on hooks on the old one. Um, but since we got the new tractor, we needed new bolt-on hooks. So today we have bolt-on hooks to put on and also these shackles. Uh, these shackles um, will help you out as well as bolt-on hooks to move some stuff around. These can give you good points to tie your tractor down. Also give you a good place to wrap chains around. Um, and thank Amble for sending the shackles and the bolt-on hooks on out uh, so I can give you guys the opportunity to show you how useful they are around the homestead. We'll get into getting these installed right now. All right. I mentioned in the video I did about the 1025R, um, if you want to watch that one, it'll be up here, uh, when I installed the bolt-on hooks alone, that they came with these back panels. And on that little tractor, they don't really have enough power to pull things out. Um, that you would actually need that brace on the bucket. This tractor definitely does, so make sure you do put these on a bigger tractor like this. Um, so it's got the back brace and the, and the hook, and you're gonna you know, sandwich this between the bucket. All right, now we can get into it. With these hooks, you don't wanna put them along where your arms are here. It's the best place and the strongest point um, for lifting and also so you don't bend the bucket. So I'm just gonna take the hook, take a Sharpie here, eyeball this up, and then mark where my center of my bolt holes need to go. Um, you can also draw on the outside. So I got my two holes where it lines up here and it's pretty straight. Um, the shackles, I think I'm gonna install on the outside here, you know, towards the edge of the bucket. Um, but then we'll we'll start drilling the holes here. I have a 3 8 inch drive uh, drill bit. I think you really kind of need a half inch drive, or not 3 8 drive. I have a 3 8 inch drill bit here. You should really have a half inch drill bit. I don't have one on hand right now, so we're going to try to make do with this. Um, the bolts are 3 8 inch, so get drill the holes here and get going all right we're just gonna spray some oil any oil you got around the house uh, good household oil will do fine um, just a not dull to drill bit while we're drilling through metal here The 3 8 inch drive drill bit was definitely um, too small for the bolt to go through. I went and um, searched a little more and found the half inch in the toolbox. So get the half inch drill bit and we're going to make the hole a little bigger. Definitely fits. wipe it off and get it all over there. All right, so I got the first hole drilled. It's always a good idea to make sure your holes that you marked before are still lining up. Um, this one definitely doesn't. 
I can go go ahead and show you that. So I got the first hole drilled. As you can see, um, put the bolt in, line it up. That does fit, and then how off um, that first marking was. So, I mean, it's got a little play in there. We're not too far off, as you can tell. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and kind of remark it, remark the center, and then go second hole. So you got the drill, the holes drilled. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in place, get the bottom plate in place, um, drop our bolts in, put our bottom plate in, and loosely thread on the walk, the nuts. Um, I do want to add that these are nylon lock nuts so they are locking um, they're not going to go anywhere once you get these tight so you can see right there there's a little piece of nylon in there so they will lock down tight no no need for a thread locker all right now we're just going to bolt these on up i just got a couple sockets they're 18 millimeter so 18 millimeter um wrench and socket is what you need to tighten this Next, we're going to put the shackles on. Um, I'm going to put them over to this edge over here, just so it gives me a good base to put it. Uh, I'm just going to try to make it even between the plates here, and it's going to give good strength next to this edge here, too. Um, like the bolt-on hooks, it does have back plate, so you want to use that as well to give some strength to this lip because this lip isn't very strong you don't want to rip a hole in your bucket so just like the shackles I'm just gonna mark it all right now that we've got all four holes drilled we're gonna go ahead and install the shackles um, All right, we got um, this side all bolted up um, and tight. You know, make sure you take the ratchet um, from the bottom. Since I was using the um, impact from the top, um, you really should be tightening from the nut side, not the bolt side. Um, so I just went ahead and took the ratchet and made sure all six of these bolts are tight. I'm gonna go ahead and drill and bolt on the other side and then we'll get back with you guys and show you some uses of the hooks.
on hooks and the shackles put on. Um, just wanted to mention the you know bolt on hooks are good for hooking chains and hooking heavy objects like I said before. Shackles can be used um, in combination with uh, D, D uh, rings um, you put on here or you can use it as a point to attach to. Um, the D rings would be good for if you had like a little portable winch um, and you can winch something out with the tractor. Uh, or um, you can use these when traveling on the trailer um, as some mount points to attach to uh, some additional mount points I'd attach to the axles of course. If you found this uh, video helpful for you to get your bolt-on hooks or shackles put on um, make sure you hit the like button I would appreciate it. I just want to thank Amble again for sending these out so we can uh, show you guys how to hook these up and some practical uses for them. Uh, if you want to see how I hook these ones up on the 1025R, just click over here, and thanks for watching. Bye.